final word for wisdom.com. Fueled by Kookaburra Cricket, one of Kookaburra's own, Megan Shoot with me. You're playing in another World Global Trophy final tomorrow. It must feel fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. It's honestly a little nerve-wracking, but yeah, really excited to get out there on Sunday. Would this be the finest moment of your career if you get over to lunch tomorrow, given it has been a fairly long time between drinks for the Australian women at global tournaments? Yeah, for me, I haven't won a World T20 tournament. Um, I wasn't lucky enough to be in Bangladesh last time, so it's something that I haven't achieved and it's definitely something I want to do. Took some tap in the first over last night, but bounced back really well and you've had a fantastic tournament, indeed a great couple of years. You basically can back yourself now, can't you? If you go for a few runs in one over, you know you can bounce back and get back in the contest. Yeah, I guess that's a beautiful thing about T20 cricket is you never really know what's going to happen. and. Um yeah, look, trying to come back in the power play is something that I pride myself on. I haven't always started well every game, but you get another opportunity, thank goodness. What is it about your bowling over the last couple of years that's seen you rise to the, the number one ranked seamer on the planet? You're swinging the ball so prodigiously both ways. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I think just confidence. I think um, going in there knowing I've got two really good variations mm. that work, especially on the wickets over here, and then swing for my stock ball, which I need. So I think, um, yeah, it's just really knowing my role. And playing it opponent tomorrow who you know so well you've played the English in every format different competitions around the world does that familiarity give you a bit of an advantage as well that you know the batsmen so well you're well against uh, I think so yeah I think um, we're obviously wary of how dangerous they can be but we've also played them enough over the last course of the couple of years now that we know really what they're capable of but yeah a few of them playing the big bash as well so it'll be interesting to see, to see how they go so speaking of the big bash to what extent do you credit that with this Australian side developing so considerably over the last couple of years having that semi-professional tournament on home soil yeah, I think it really shows in the cricket that um, is being produced out on the global stage, to be honest. I think we do have the strongest domestic competition in the world and we're really fortunate to have that backing. But yeah, having the players come over and increase the standard of our competition only helps the standard outside of it too. Before the tournament, you spoke so well about the way the team's evolved and matured since the disappointing World Cup last year and the World T20 before it. Uh, you felt the love from back in Australia and you've returned it as well. The vibe around the place feels fantastic. Yeah, definitely. I think we're all just raring to go. As I said a few times, we're a different team to what we were back then and we're obviously just a bit more confident coming into this, but I think the um, atmosphere around this place is really exciting. A global final tomorrow for the Australian cricket team. Good luck, Megan Shoot. Thank you very much. My first club experience was in a, an A-grade women's side and it was terrifying. I, I was like three foot tall, I was 12 years old and the average age was like 30 so I was extremely scared. I got bowled first ball but they called it a no ball when it wasn't a no ball. I just got bowled first ball. But I also got a wicket so that's all I was happy with.